What's going on, Ed? I thought there would be arguments with Bailiff and so forth. Ed, what is this? Is this procedure? SR 87249. Clause now pending is hereby dismissed. Sue Esponte. Sue Esponte. Sue Esponte. Sue Esponte. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, make any sense. your service is no longer needed, and you are now discharged. She'd hanged herself. I'd brought her a dress to wear to court, and she'd used the belt. First, I thought that she'd figured out somehow how I fit into it. I couldn't stand it. Couldn't stand knowing. <laughs> that wasn't it. I'd find out later. For now, everything just seemed ruined. Freddie Reed and Schneider went back to Sacramento, still shaking his head, saying it was the biggest disappointment of his professional career. Frankie fell to pieces. I suspect he was drinking. Anyway, he stopped coming into work. That left me to keep the place going, or the bank would have taken it. I was the principal barber now. I hired a new man for the second chair. I'd hired the guy who did the least gabbing when he came in for an interview. But I guess the new man had only kept quiet because he was nervous. Once he had the job, he talked from the minute I opened the shop in the morning until I locked up at night. For all I know, he talked to himself on the way home. When I walked home, it seemed like everyone avoided looking at me, as if I'd caught some disease. This thing with Doris, nobody wanted to talk about it. It was like I was a ghost walking down the street. And when I got home now, The place felt empty. I sat in the house, but there was nobody there. I was a ghost. I didn't see anyone. No one saw me. was the barber. <laughs>